Hi, my name's Laura and I'm the Carpe Diem Stitcher. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So um, today I am lucky enough to be on the vlog tour for So Frugal 23. So um, I'm sure you probably already know this, but this is a challenge run by Ruan, who is the Yorkshire Sew Girl on both Instagram and here on YouTube, and um, Sam, who is Frugalissima here on YouTube and also on Instagram. So um, this is a challenge to try to get us to all think a little bit more frugally about our sewing. And there are prizes to be won if you post your make on Instagram on 31st of March. What I thought I'd do, um, I have got um, visuals which were done by um, the lovely Ruan, um, which I can put up, which have got a bit more in about the rules and about the prizes and things. Um, but I thought what I would do is I would, other than giving you the absolute basics, I'll do all that at the end so that if you are someone who's already watched the videos and know what the um, ins and outs of the competition are, you can stop watching at that point, but you might want to hopefully see um, my suggestions. So um, the absolute basics of the competition are that you um, take a free pattern, which means something that um, you haven't paid for either directly by going and buying a pattern or indirectly by buying a magazine that's got a free pattern in it. Um, so something you can find on the internet or you might choose to um, copy a garment that you've already got or draft something yourself. So things that are just generally accessible or you could, you know, someone could do it for themselves. And you sew that up using um, fabric that you've got in your stash, i.e. not something that you're going out and buying in March specifically for this make. So hopefully, um, you know, you've got some fabric sitting around that you've not used yet or you can repurpose the garment um, or you could use anything. You could use um, some bedding that you don't want anymore or that you've maybe bought previously um, thrifted or a tablecloth or you might choose to alter a garment that you've you've got now that you don't like and make it into something new. Um, so what I've got is a range of patterns which are kind of loosely based around my sewing goals so I'll link that video down below for you. Um, and I've got some suggested fabrics, so shall we get started? And I'll show you um, what I'm thinking I might make. Though obviously I won't make all of these, I might make one or probably at most two. But actually just before we start, I am going to show you what I made for the challenge last year. And this, sitting on um, Olivia, who for those of you who don't know is my mannequin, um, she um, is wearing the Uvita um, pattern by Itch to Stitch and she's made in this fantastic cotton jersey which has got um, telephones on but if you look really closely I'll tell you if there's an emergency I'm never going to get out of my house I'm hemmed in I've got my sewing machine that side I've got a table of fabrics that side I've got a computer in front of me and I've got Olivia behind me so let's hope there's no emergencies um, but if I bring her a bit closer you can see that the telephones have got cats faces on which is quite cute and I'd had that fabric in my stash for ages came from a shop called Girl Charlie which sadly isn't trading in the UK anymore um, and I made the Uvita last year and um, was really pleased I had and I wear it quite a lot actually um, so yeah, so that's what Olivia is wearing. I would be wearing it myself, only it's freezing cold in Wales, so I'm not. So let's get started with um, the patterns that I've found this year. And I think I've got some really good ones. I'm really pleased. Um, and they're not ones that I'd come across before. So um, let's get started, as I say. So the first one is um, a pattern from a company called Peekaboo. And it is their adult classic sweatshirt. So I'll, I'll pop a pick up here. And um, this is a pattern that um, in order to get it for free, you have to either join their Facebook group or subscribe to their newsletter. And then that will give you a code and you can then download the pattern for free. Um, so 
just to show you the line drawings because it's not that clear from the um, photo just show you the line drawings so you can see this is it's it's called a sweatshirt but you can actually make it either with a crew neck or with a hoodie and this um, kanga pocket um, and it's not a bad size range actually um, the chest size starts at 31 to 33 inches and it goes up to 53 to 56 inches so not you know top end 63 inches which I've seen on some of the patterns but um, yeah kind of reasonable size range um, and there's a couple of inches ease in it um, if you do um, both the hood and the kanga pocket then the maximum amount of fabric you should need is about two and a half meters if you're doing the smallest size then just over two meters good range of options when you download the pattern for um, how you actually can use the PDF so you can have copy shop size a0 you can um, stick together pages of A4, or you it's actually got a projector file as well. So if you're lucky enough to have a projector, you're laughing because it's got that as well. So that's really good. So just gonna get a cup of tea. I think I might be drinking rather a lot of that because there's a lot to say. So in terms of fabric that I could make this in, I thought that if I made um, the crew neck version, um, then I might make it in this, um, which is a loop mat French terry from um, Pound Fabrics. Um, so I could use that, and it's actually quite, it's quite thin, so it would be quite nice to go into um, spring and summer. And I could um, pair it, with some purple or navy ribbing, both of which I've also got in my stash already. So I've got that fabric, that's one possibility. If you hear a crash, it'll be because all the fabric's fallen over. So that's one possibility. If I were to make the hoodie, although it's probably not the best time of year to do it, I don't know if anyone else is going to find this when they're going through their stash, but I was really quite perturbed last night because I kept finding bits of fabric I'd forgotten about so my stash is bigger than I thought it was and I found this and this is a kind of fleece back um, sweatshirting it's a bit more cozy than that other one this came from Higgs and Higgs and I can't tell you whether or not they still have it in stock it was a while ago I bought it probably about 18 months ago um, but their website is down for maintenance at the moment, so I can't tell you whether um, they've still got it or not. But it's this um, kind of fleecy backed fabric, sweatshirt and fabric, and it's got these um, little cats all over it. For those of you who don't know, we've got um, two cats called Lovejoy and Lady Jane. They're rag dolls, so a quite light fabric um, that's got cats on it. So, um, yeah. I thought that would be really quite nice to make a hoodie and it would be nice and cosy um, and to be honest if we go camping or something in the summer it might not be a bad thing to take with me because it's always colder when you're camping isn't it so that's one fabric that's a possibility for the hoodie version and then here is my final option which is this wonderful um, greeny and goldy kind of marbly effect um, French terry and this comes from Little Legs Fabric and I don't think they've actually got it in stock at the moment but you can pre-order it so I have put the link down below and links to all the patterns as well as the fabrics where I know that you can still get them or the shop anyway are all down below in the description. So next up, we've got the striped swallow designs, Cloud 90. Sorry for looking down, I've got all my notes down here. And this is um, a pattern with a drop shoulder um, and then a kind of scoop neck. And then you can see a kind of um, shirt tail type hem. Um, and this is another one where you can join the Facebook group for Stripe Swallow Designs and that gives you a code to get the t-shirt for free. Um, this only gives you um, 
an A4 printout. Um, doesn't give you any of the other options. And it comes in sizes um, extra small to 3XL, which sounds actually quite a lot, but it's actually got a smaller size range in terms of the bust than the um, the hoodie, because it goes from 31 and a half inches up to 44 inches. So it's not as size inclusive as it might be. Um, you can make it in a short sleeve, and if you make it in a short sleeve for the um, smaller sizes, you can get it out of less than a metre of fabric. Um, for the larger sizes, it's 1.2 metres of fabric. And um, if you make it in the long sleeve version, then it's about 1.2 to 1.3 metres of fabric. Um, so that's um, that pattern. And so I have picked out for that a cotton jersey, which some of you might recognise because I know I showed it. Um, well, I think I did, a, I did a video for Snow Frugal, but not an official vlogger one last year. And this is one of the fabrics I mentioned, and I still haven't sewn it up. And this is a salt and pepper pot, kind of um, romantic, if you like, cotton jersey. I did wonder about sewing it up for Valentine's Day this year and then didn't. Um, so, um, yeah, this kind of cutesy looking pattern in a cotton jersey. So I thought that might look quite nice for that pattern. Um, and then in a similar kind of style to that, if you don't like the scoop neck on the um, the Cloud 90, or equally if you don't like signing up or you're not on Facebook, or you don't like signing up to Facebook groups, I've found them a kind of similar alternative for that pattern. Actually, I think I like it a little bit better than the Cloud 9 one. And that is, um, I'll pop a pick up. It's from a website called um, Life So S-E-W, Savory, S-A-V-O-R-Y. Um, the link will be down below. Um, I'm just finding the details of the sizing. And this is the spring tea. So you'll see from the picture, it's um, it's got a higher neck, it's got a more kind of boat neck style, but again, it's drop, got the drop shoulder and the sleeves on it are three quarter length, but you could shorten them or you could probably extend them to full length if you don't like three quarter sleeves. Um, and the fabric recommendation for this is, is a kind of more drapey jersey. So I'll show you mine in a minute. Um, so this gives you um, just an A4 PDF to download. And then the instructions you have to follow online, there's kind of written tutorial with um, photographs online, so you don't get the instructions to print out. This comes in sizes extra small to um, 2XL. Um, actually, more or less the same kind of size range as the Stripe Swallow Designs um, T-shirt. It's 32 inches to 46 inches on the bust. Um, and it will take up um, one to two metres of fabric, depending on the size you make. And for this um, T-shirt, in fact, I mean, you could use it for the other one as well. Because um, it, it says use a more drapey fabric. I've got this one, which came from um, Girl Charlie before it stopped trading over here, uh, which is the same place that the Uvita fabric came from. And it's this... Um, kind of it's very lightweight you can see it's really um drapey so it is a cotton um t-shirting but it's much more lightweight and not as not got as much body as the other one um in this kind of burgundy and um sort of mildy i suppose it's burgundy it's a bit lighter than burgundy it looks burgundy on the camera it's it's slightly pinkier in real life um those of you who don't know if you've not seen my videos before it probably is in my color palette um, so, and I think that would look quite nice. And I, I think probably on balance, I prefer that t-shirt to the earlier one. And as I say, you literally get, I will show you, excuse my scribble where I've labeled it, but literally you get the pattern to print out, but you don't get anything particularly fancy in terms of, um, the printout and you have to refer to the instructions online, but nice pattern. looks like a nice pattern to me. So, um, that's the t-shirts. And then the next few patterns I've got are, um, they're all technically called jumpsuits. I think the first one, um, I think if you're if you're based in the United States, you might call it a jumpsuit. I think over here we'd be more likely to call it um, dungarees or maybe overalls. 
Um, and that's also one from um, Life So Savory, and I'll pop a pick up. And again, this is kind of loose fitting um, dungarees or jumpsuit, full length. Um, and it's got um, ties here. And it's got um, quite a high, it's kind of got a bib bit at the back as well. And then the straps come down. So the straps don't go all the way down to the waist like they do on some designs. Um, and I quite like that one. Um, and I could see it might be quite nice to do that with one of the t-shirts. Um, so the pictures show it made in linen, um, but I haven't got any linen. I don't tend to buy linen. Um, and this pattern is based on your hip measurement, unless your waist is bigger than your hip measurement. But quite usefully, there's lots of information given about how you pick your size, um, depending on what your own measurements are. But the hip, I've taken the hip measurements as the broad guide and they go from um, a 30 to 32 inch hip up to a 57 inch hip. Um, and it takes a maximum of 3.2 metres of fabric um, to make that. And again, you download the pattern that you follow the instructions in the photo tutorial on screen. But it looks relatively simple and the instructions look quite good. So what would I make it in? Well, ideally, I'd make it in a denim, but um, I've looked at the denim in my stash. I've got one piece of rigid denim, but that is earmarked for me to make some jeans, and I don't want to use that, A, because it's quite expensive, and I don't know, having never made dungarees or trousers or any other than pyjama trousers before, I don't want to use my my really good denim for, for that um so i have got a whole set of two meter batches of denim that i got in um a sort of lucky dip um bundle from dalton fabrics and i'll pop the link they still do the bundle down below um so this is a piece that came from that the only thing that i'm a bit worried about is that a i may not have enough because they're all two meter pieces but maybe pretty much identical or similar so I might be able to do the pockets out of a different one I've got four lots of it the other thing that worries me is it's it's stretchy and so it might I mean this one's got quite a lot of stretching you can see so I could size down and it may not it may not really matter but I think you know I'd have to have a think and see whether I really want to use the denim with that amount of stretch in it for a pair of loose fitting dungarees but let me know what you think I'd, I'd be interested to see what you thought about that so um that might be a possibility for the fabric the other alternative is this fabric which is definitely not stretchy um and this is a john loudon um fireworks design cotton batik um and i really like john loudon fabrics i've used their cotton before um in a kind of flutter design it's like a quilting cotton filler fabric um and so i've got three meters of this so i think i'd have enough to get a pair of dungarees out of it and coming into summer that might be quite nice a pair of loose-ish style um cotton dungarees so that is another possibility for um that pattern so there we go that's that one um and then I've got two um, what I would call jumpsuits to show you. Um, and the first one comes from um, Fabrics Store. And I think actually Muan showed one from the same um, group of patterns. This one's a different one. And I actually found this because I found a, um, a video on YouTube from about three years ago from... Um, and so on on um youtube channel so i'll pop her link the link to her video down below which was 33 jumpsuit patterns um and um this is the chloe jumpsuit so i'll pop a picture of it up and you can see it's really quite fitted i quite like it i quite like the sleekness of the design um and if i show you the line drawings um 
you can see it's got princess seams on the front and it's got these little bow details on the sleeves although whether I'd actually put those in if I didn't have to I don't know because that might annoy me it's got a self-fabricated belt and then it's got waist belts on the back so it is quite it is quite fitted and um it's capri pant length and I thought that was really pretty um I really quite like that um so yes as it says it's semi-tailored um again it's made in a linen on the um fabric stores website um I'll show you what I was thinking of in a minute. Um, the pattern comes um, downloadable as a PDF, and again, it's only A4, but it does have the instructions in the printout this time. And it comes in sizes, um, kind of the lowest size is 0 to 2, and the top size is 28 to 30. And it's bust um, 33 up to a 56 inch bust, and hips is 35 inches up to 58 inch hips so not a massively inclusive size range at the top end and there's I had a look and there's only a couple of inches of ease in the finished garment um what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the other jumpsuit and then I'll show you the fabric because it's it would be the same fabric choice for either of these jumpsuits so the second um jumpsuit is the perilla jumpsuit and again I saw this on um and so on's um video and this was from um, Mood Society, from Mood Fabrics. And this is a kind of shirt, I'll put a picture up, but you can see it's got like a shirt collar top half and then kind of wide leg capri pants. And then it's got an elastic waist and it does include a pattern um, for a belt that you can make in a contrasting fabric, it recommends faux leather. To be perfectly honest, I think I'd just buy a wide belt if I if I made this one and just wear it with that. Um, and this comes in, um, taking the hip measurements as being the widest measurement. Um, it's sizes two to thirty, which is a thirty-four and a half inch hip up to a sixty-three inch hip, so it's more inclusive. Um, and this will take up to three point six yards of fabric. Um, and um I quite liked it because it's kind of it's kind of smart but casual because I like the shirt bit and then and then the kind of wider legs and it looked a bit more relaxed and a bit less formal than the other one. Um, so yeah, and I think I'd probably have enough fabric because I've got three meters of the fabric I've got because I wouldn't be making one of the top end sizes. I think I'd probably be okay. And I've got this chambray um, kind of butterfly batik type fabric which I got from Minerva Fabrics ages ago, and I was going to make the So House 7 um, tea dress out of it. I've made the top, uh, but I still haven't done that. And actually, a jumpsuit in this might be quite nice. I also wondered about it for the, um, the dungarees, the full-length dungarees, and that is a possibility. Although, for some weird reason, I can visualise this as a jumpsuit, jumpsuit with the sleeves and everything but I can't visualize it as dungarees and I don't know why I kind of I don't know can't get my head around it so anyway um so I've got that um and I think that would work fine chambray batik as I say I've got three meters of it so um yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below which jumpsuit do you like do you think I should make one of the jumpsuits and if so which fabric should I make it out of Okay, so that's the end of the jumpsuits. I've got one more pattern to show you, which is totally different from any of the other things that I've shown you because it is a dress. This is, I couldn't believe this was a free pattern. I'll put a picture up for you. Can you believe this is a free pattern? I just looked at it and I kind of, maybe it's because she's all dressed up and, you know, it just looks amazing in that bright green. But I could not believe that this was a free pattern. So this is the Jackie Schiff dress. And it's a Simply Sews sewing pattern. And you can just you can you can just download it and it comes out as um an A4 pattern and it takes um a maximum of 2.09 meters of fabric 
and it comes in sizes 8 to 18. Um, so smallest size is a bust 33 and it goes up to bust of 43 and the hips are 36 up to 46. So again, not massively size inclusive and you can't, um, you can see there's not gonna be a lot of ease because it's kind of wiggle style dress with this slit up um, and these princess seams at the front, waist darts at the back. So in fact, in terms of the um, the way the fit is on the bodice, it's not that different from the flowy jumpsuit, interestingly, I've only just clocked that. Um, now, this is meant to be for a woven fabric, but I did wonder, just because it's so kind of snug and wiggly fitting, whether in fact it might work in this, which I think I also showed you last year and still haven't used. And this is a Lady McElroy fabric. It's a scuba, and I've got 2.13 metres of it, and I got this from um, Material Girl Laura, who isn't trading anymore sadly um and it's called brush strokes um and yeah it's a scuba but because it's a kind of wiggle there is a there is a zip up the back actually as there was in the um more fitted jumpsuit i forgot to mention that there's a zip up the back um but because it's a scuba it's quite stable so i um looked up using scuba to sew woven patterns and i found a really useful vlog which is by lucy from so essential so i'll pop the link to the vlog down below and she talks about the fact that she made a woven pattern which is also quite figure hugging when you look at it um out of a scuba and it really worked um i think she was quite she was quite careful and she twirled it and things but it is doable so that might be quite an interesting thing to do. And of course, because it's scuba, you wouldn't have to finish off any of the seams. So that might be an interesting one. Again, let me know what you think. I did mention in my, I think in my sewing goals that I've got a wedding to go to in July. So I don't see that as a wedding outfit, but it might be quite interesting to try the pattern out and see what I think. Um, and if it's worth thinking about the pattern, because it is quite, wedding outfitty if you like is that a word outfitty anyway so they are my possible patterns and my possible fabric choices so please please leave me a comment let me know what you think of my um choices and i really hope that you've enjoyed um hearing my thoughts on this and i think it's a really good and interesting challenge um so if you've enjoyed what you see, please could you give me a thumbs up and comment because that really helps YouTube see um, that people are enjoying what I'm doing and um, making my video more available as a suggestion to other viewers. And if you'd like to see more from me, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you along on my sewing journey. So thank you for watching so far. Um, I'm now going to just mention quickly that my fellow vlogger today is... Um, Elisa from Sloths and Door Kids. So I'll link her site below. So do pop over and have a um, a watch of her video uh, when you finish watching this one. And if you've come to me from Elisa's channel, welcome. Or indeed from any of the um, other lovely sewing vloggers or just because you're following the vlogs for So Frugal. And then tomorrow, um, vloggers will be... Um, Sarah from Naughty Gnome Crafts and Marie from Marie Made This. So I will also link their channels down below so that you can find them easily. Um, so I will now just run through um, all the other things that um, it might be useful for you to know about the, um, the challenge. So as I mentioned, you need to use a pattern that is free and it has to be for a garment it doesn't have to be for you it could be for a child it could be for your partner it could be for a friend or relative but it has to be for a human so no making clothes for fido or for cats or um yeah it must be for a human and it can't be an accessory so no handbags or headbands or scrunchies or anything like that um there is the vlogger tour, um, so I'll be popping slides up as I'm speaking, showing all the, the vloggers that are coming up. So there's at least one, sometimes two, every day in March, so they'll be coming along um, with inspiration. 
and there are prizes as I mentioned and um, Ruan and Fugalissima um, Sam will be giving um, more details of those over on Instagram but I'll, you'll see from the slides we've got lots of lovely sponsors and I think my um, co-vlogger today Elisa from um, Sloss and Orchids has been helping to arrange all that so um, big thank you to her for helping out with that aspect of the challenge um, so when you post your photograph on Instagram you have to do that via a public account or contact Sam or Ruan if you want to participate but your account's private or you're not on Instagram. You post it on the 31st of March and you put a hashtag SoFrugal23 and tag in Sam who is at, at Fugalisama and Ruan who is at the Yorkshire So Girl and do that on the 31st of March. If you want to put up um, pictures of your work in progress um, throughout the month, you can do that. But please put hashtag SoFrugal23 WIP, W I P, on the end so that those can be kept separate from the actual entries on 31st of March. Um, we've also been lucky enough that everybody has the opportunity to um, download a free skirt pattern from um, Size Me Sewing, it's the Florence skirt. And this is really kind because Size Me Sewing gave um, a free box top download last year, the Florence boxy top, and now it's this time, it's the skirt that's being offered. So I'll pop the infographic in here for the code. And there is also a 20% off printing for the month of March offer from Pattern to Paper. So again, I'll pop the information up. Um, and I think that's it. I don't think I've forgotten anything. So um, that's me. Hope you enjoyed that video and um, hope you're getting some frugal sewing this month. And until next time, bye for now.